Hello everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and I'm here to share with you some reveals from Ciao Bella. I've got four collections I'm going to share today, and I'm going to start with Into the Wild, which is, it's a nice fall collection, as you can see. It's very pretty. I haven't flipped through it yet, so we're going to see it together. I've seen this style of tree before, and I just I adore it. I think it's really pretty. And I got some feedback on my last walkthrough that some sort of weird things happening when I flip the pages and making uh, weird noises. So I'm going to try to be extra careful today and uh, eliminate some of that sound. Both, by the way, I'm handling the paper and uh, see if I can't do something via the software. Okay, look at that. That's very pretty. Got some cut aparts on the bottom. Big bears, big brown bears. The call of the forest. This is lovely. This would also work really well for just any camping trip. Um, you could work around some of the fall elements like the pine cones and just make it a camping trip, even a summer trip. <clears throat> That's pretty. Okay. Uh, what we're looking at right now is the, what they call, uh, Chow Bella calls the paper pad. Oh, look at this. I love that. Um, these look great on a spine. Graphic 45 used to do tall um, vertical cut apart, so I don't see it very much anymore. Tall, thin. Very pretty. That's gorgeous. Look at that. Okay, that's a nice color. Little cute squirrels. Well, that's a very fall picture right there. Oh, look at the cut aparts. They're gorgeous. Uh, these would make for nice elements throughout throughout your scrapbook, whether you're doing a mini album or that's a lovely green, um, a full 12 by 12 layout. Okay, gorgeous. I really like this. <clears throat> And then after we get through with the 12 by 12 paper pad, okay, it looks like you've got horizontal and vertical cut aparts here. Um, card toppers, or you can use these as um, elements in your scrapbook. Put some journaling on the back side. Oh, I really like the back side of that. I, I think I'd be tempted to cut that frame out and <clears throat> put a picture in it. Nice plaid. <clears throat> oh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so that's the paper pad. You get uh, 12 double sided papers. And um, for those of you not familiar with Ciao Bella, Ciao Bella is an Italian company. These are all available and shipping in from the shop right now. Wow, this is really a great collection. So what we're looking at now is what's called the Patterns Pad. I like those card toppers. Lots of cut-aparts. I like to do layers with the cut-aparts. are great colors. It's a very masculine collection, which, you know, we don't have a lot of those. More cut apart sentiments to add to your pages. <clears throat> that screams Thanksgiving. This one too. That's interesting. This is right side up, but the lines on the paper are, are going the opposite direction, I guess, if you tore it out of a pad like that, but it's kind of interesting. I like it. There's the last. So in the patterns pad, you get one each double-sided pattern. So now I'm going to go over some of the extra elements that are coming in the collection, and I'm going to start with what they call the 
creative pad and this is an A4. So we've got some cut aparts here. This is the this is the um, element out of the collection that you want to get if you're a card maker. You definitely want this one because you it it sort of lends itself to layered cards and sentiments. And I like that you get a choice with the cut apart or a pattern on the flip side. <clears throat> and oh, look at that! Wow, really liking this. Oh wow, look at these, that's pretty. That's really lovely. Okay, again, this is A4, and this is what's called the Creative Pad. There'll be links in the description. Back to the shop for all these collections. Ooh, look at that, that's pretty. And tags and cut aparts. So yes, definitely a card maker's dream here. And then there's the, the last of that. So that is the creative pad. And the creative pad, you get one each, double-sided papers. So quite a bit. And um, I don't know, are you guys familiar with the size? And I think most of my viewers are Americans. So let me tell you what an A4 is. If you don't know what that is off the top of your head, it is eight and a quarter by 11 and three quarters, eight and a quarter by 11 and three quarters. So you could definitely use it for an eight by eight mini album. And of course, lots of cards. So here's the rice paper. It's pretty pretty. And of course, this is uh, all available and shipping right now in the shop. Okay, so we have the 12 by 12 uh, paper pad, the 12 by 12, what do they call it? Um, patterns pad, the A4 collectors, or uh, creative pad. We have um, the rice paper. And then in addition to that, the paper pad also comes in the eight by eight side size. And then this is also great for card makers. There's just, it's a whole, um, pad of fussy cut papers. You get three of eight double-sided papers. So tons of elements to cut apart and create dimension on your cards. Okay, that's it for the Chow Bella Into Wild. I'll bring in the next collection. Okay, and the last two collections are going to be more traditional uh, Christmas um, holiday papers. Sorry, I'm adjusting my... Okay, I'm back, and we are going to start looking at um, Dear Santa. Uh, this is the 12 by 12 paper pad, and I'll follow that with the 12 by 12 um, patterns. <clears throat> this is a very traditional Christmas collection. There we go. It's lovely. It's a nice red. Oh, that would make a beautiful cover uh, for your album. Dear Santa. It makes a nice border piece. Both the, both the top and the bottom. Okay, you've got some cut aparts or card toppers, depending on what you want to use them for. Wow, this is another really nice one. Oh, look at that. That would be my spine for sure. I like um, these are nice sizes for cut aparts to get some real um, dimension uh, in your projects. You know, the florals especially um, come apart easy. I love stamps. Um, and, ooh, I like that they did both vertical uh, vertical and horizontal. I did that backwards. Um, and then also you've got these thin strips that you can add um, throughout. So that's a really nice feature. I like the vertical and the horizontal stamps. That, that's a nice feature. Oh, and here they are again. Wow, there's all kinds of images to choose for your cover. 
it's going to be, it would be tough. Now, see, in this case, I would definitely want to cut apart a tree and pop that out a little bit more. Yeah, and maybe even this, find the 25th stamp and pop it a little bit more. Yeah, that's really pretty. Easy to use. That's a nice background. Oh, and of course, what a great way to end, right? Or start. <laughs> there it is. Okay, so that is the paper pad. Now we're going to go over the backgrounds. There's one each, eight, eight double-sided sheets. I'm not a big fan of the alphabets. I guess if you're going to personalize it with somebody's name, that's nice. And it's nice that they gave you upper and lower case. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes it's all upper, which makes it look just a little bit too big, uh, especially like on a card or something like that. So, I mean, it's hard to imagine somebody's name in that size letters unless it's a full-size album. Ooh, these are nice tags. Let's cut apart. Space for some journaling. That's a nice background page if you choose not to use the tags. Mm -hmm. Pretty page. Oh, that's cute. That's that's nice. I like it. The um, background makes it look very vintage. Some more cut aparts. That's a nice background page too. Oh, little houses. Oh, and you can make your advent calendar here. So you got your numbers. Nice, nice. Okay, so that is the patterns. And then next is the A4 creative pad. These tags with the straight edges, super easy and fast to cut out. That's a nice size little element. Cute. Nice background. There's a faint stripe there that's pretty. Got some labels, tags, little ornate frame. Very pretty. Lots of cut apart, so that's the creative pad. Now for the rice paper, we have, let me go ahead and put this on white. This would look good with a really dark brown background, I think. Well, let's see. Nah, maybe not. Okay, that's one. We've got the letters to Santa. That Christmas tree. And some cut aparts. Can make teeny tiny little uh, um, journals with the, this, you know, with just empty pages. You can pass them out and ask them to put their Christmas list on it. Okay, we also have the 8x8 collection and then the 6x6 fussy cut pack. So all of that's available in the shop, ready to ship. And then the last one, uh, another Christmas collection, and this one is really, I like all of them, I really do. Um, this one's very elegant, so it, they, it's, it's less traditional, it's more elegant. So we've got some of the Christmas colors like the greens and golds, but you don't see a lot of red in this collection, if, if, if any. Um, so this makes a really nice, elegant um, album, a little less traditional. Greens, golds, and ivories.
Oh, there's a little pink right there. So that's pretty. And then you've got this Baroque pattern in the back. It's very lovely. Okay, we're looking at the paper pad right now. Little kitty cat. I think they have another one with a dog, so you get both. It's a lovely background. And you've got the card toppers. Oh, that's lovely. You can use that in a lot of different places, not just Christmas. Bright gold. It really sort of jumps off the page. It almost looks textured. Okay, lots of tags. Cut apart so you can do some layering. There's some kitty cats up here. Can't seem to separate this page. There we go. Some golds. That's really pretty. This looks like a tencel. And there's a kitty cat again. Okay, so that's a 12 by 12 paper pad. And then next is the 12 by 12, one each of the patterns. 12 by 12, eight sheets, double-sided. I don't know why I said one each. That's pretty. Nice. And this too, actually. Pale colors. Papers are kind of sticking together on me. I love pine cones. There's lots of pine trees in my neighborhood. I've already started collecting them to do some art projects. Okay. Oh, that's lovely. I like that. Oh, look at how they used the frame and kind of layered around it, which you could also do in your 12 by 12 layout or, or your mini album. There's some frames that you can cut apart to get that look. Lots of tags and sentiments. This is really nice. Mm -hmm. Lots of green. And then there's the last page. Okay, in addition, we've got the 8x8, the 6x6 fussy cut pad. And I'm going a little bit out of order. Now we're going to do the A4 creative pad. There's those frames I was talking about. This one even makes for a nice frame. Oh, I like that. I'm uh, working on a chow, just finished a chow bell and it had that same pattern, different colors, but it's an interesting pattern. Like fishnet almost. And more card toppers. Okay, so that is the collection pack. And then the last thing is our rice paper. Okay, got that big Christmas tree. Poinsettias. Got a wreath and these cute little lanterns and little um, floral arrangement. Got some bells. You could do some layering here. And then some card toppers. And that's it, which is, you know, plenty. So that's four new collections. 
from Chow Bella, and that I'll bring in uh, real quick. I'll try to bring in my, my collection packs. So there we go with Sparkling Christmas. They're kind of stacked here out of order. There's the Santa collection. And I have so much to go through, you guys. They're all over. Okay, and then the last one. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Okay. Got Into the Wild and Winter Journey. So lots, lots to choose from for your fall winter collections or fall winter projects. So again, all of these are available in the shop, ready to ship, uh, uh, same day shipping, uh, Monday through Friday if it's before 10 a.m. After that, it'll ship the next day. And uh, yeah, everything's there. Check it out. See you guys soon. Hello, I'm back. Okay, the next collection is called Winter Journey. Isn't this pretty? Quite the contrast from the last collection. This is the 12 by 12 paper pad. And there is one each of 12 double-sided pages. Ooh, look at that. Very pretty. This is going to make a very elegant album. Again, I hope I'm doing better on the, on the paper sounds. This is lovely. Not driving you guys crazy, so you can get through it. Of course, you can always turn it down, um, worst case. But hopefully, I can solve the problem. Okay. Again, uh, this is uh, in inventory and available to ship right now. I know some of you, quite a few of you, oh, that's pretty. Um, I always like the a, a real simple page every now and then, because then it allows you to do a lot of layering. I like the contrast. Uh, have already pre-ordered these collections, um, but these are now available in the shop to ship right away. And um, provided uh, we're not on vacation, which we like to give plenty of notice on, um, we ship same day if it's before 10 a.m. and then next day otherwise. <clears throat> Little bunnies. And there you go. It's a nice collection. So in addition to the paper pad, we have the 12 by 12, one each of eight double-sided patterns. Nice card toppers. This, um, sorry, kept my hand on there too long. This collection also comes with a creative pad, eight by eight, and a fussy cut six by six pack, just like the previous one, as well as some rice paper, which we'll go over individually. Okay, nice, beautiful clock. Oh, lots of tags. And this is the time, right? This is the season for lots of tags. Okay, that's the patterns pack. Let's go over the creative pack. Sorry. One of the things I like about Chow Bella is they don't bind their material, which means there's never any risk of, you know, tearing your page when you're trying to separate them, which, which can happen on occasions. That's neat. Ooh, look at that.
Okay, lots of cut aparts, toppers, tags. So that is the A. What do you call it? A4 um, creative pad. Now let's look at the rice paper. Now, as you know, rice paper is quite sheer. So, you know, you're seeing my uh, desk topper through it. Um, but if you laid it on a white, let me get a piece of white paper, cardstock, um, the images are. Okay. And then we got this one, which is kind of a background, which is really pretty. And then this. I like these little clusters of flowers. This is very elegant. The colors are very elegant. Okay, in addition to the 12 by 12 uh, paper pad, 12 by 12 patterns pad, um, we also have the 8 by 8 and the 6 by 6. The 6 by 6 is the fussy cut. Okay, I'll be back in just a moment with the next collection. Uh. <clears throat> <clears throat> 